All right. Other than that, it's a very beautiful drawing. Okay. Okay. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different, also related to the same subject, and we're going to do a lot of it. Okay, so everybody pay attention here. You don't have to do anything. I mean, I'm going to do everything. So we, today we're going to do a square, another square right on top. All right, we're going to do a triangle here. But the tip of the triangle is not going to be in the middle, it's going to be towards one side. And I'm going to do the same here. Maybe not so bad, okay? Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of an angle here, a little bit of an angle here. All right. Then I'm going to All right. And then here, I don't know if you can imagine where I'm going, okay? Can you tell? Piece of cake. What? Then you can do. You think you can do it? You want me to do it again? One rectangle, one, one, one square, another, another square. All right. Uh, uh, a roof, a triangle roof here, but the middle is not quite in the middle, it's a, towards a little bit, of, it's towards one side. The same here, the same thing here. All right, a little bit in, in here. Here, we can do a, tri a rectangle. And then the fingers. Boom. Okay, piece of cake. A little help for my friend. Can you? Okay. So hands are symbol of power. People say that if you learn how to draw hands or they say in the art world, you, you, you can earn your power, you can come into your power, right? You're, when you're drawing, you're getting conscious into, into things, into faces, into, like you're feeling your consciousness of, of what a face is, what a hand is. And if you can control it, if you can put it down in, in in drawing, you have more control over it, more consciousness. Or so they say, and more power. Remember, if it's perfect, it's wrong. <laughs> 